In this video, I'm going to show you how to create inventory stickers from parts lists that you have in Excel. And so here's a parts list for a refrigerator that I downloaded from the internet. So I don't know what the part numbers are, but we could make them up. Now, um, you could easily put barcodes in here. If you add barcodes and not part numbers, this is what you would put in here and it will work out just as well. So I have BHC, which is my company name, and I'm dragging this down and then I get 100 or to 08 is a part. Now, if you receive parts from shipping, you don't often just get one. So then you would probably have to, you'd want to print off more than one label. So let's look at the first one, which is 001. And let's say we got uh, three total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two rows below here and I'm going to go insert. And then I'm going to have two rows below there. I'm going to select these two cells, grab the fill handle bottom right hand corner, and I'm going to drag down. Now it says part uh, B2 and 3, and I don't want it to be that. So I'm pressing Control D. So it returns to my original uh, number that I had in the first one. And let's say that we received um, uh, four water fillers. So once more, I'm going to go Insert. And then I'm going to drag down my uh, water filler line and then I'm going to go control D to make sure the numbers are right and there we go so apparently we've got uh, we received three of these uh, door springs and we received four uh, and then we just received one of everything else just for to make things easy so to generate labels what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the MS Word program and we'll go File and New, and I'll take a blank one. Now I'm going to go proceed to the Mailings tab here, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go Start Mail Merge, and I'm going to say I want to do um, labels. What basically I'm trying to do is um, you select the, the labels or the stickers that you have. I just uh, ran through these Avery's until I found something that would be suitable to put on boxes or part bags um, that I think would, be, would work. So this is the size of one that I picked, but you can pick it from any one of these if they have different vendors. And the number is normally press, is normally printed on the package that the labels comes in. And so I'm going to say OK. Now you have your labels set up here. On, on your sheet and so now let's go select recipients and I'm going to use an existing list and the first thing I'm going to do is I can go back to Excel and save this because I didn't before okay now we'll go back to Word and we're going to go I'm going to pick my parts from my Excel list here Okay, and so my part list is on sheet one, and so I say okay. Now we go and we we go to insert fields. Now because I have headings on the two rows, they will they will appear in the drop down. So I'm in the first one and I go part number, and then I'm going to press enter and I'm going to go insert description. Okay, so that's the way I want it set up. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to go update labels so that all the labels will be have the same thing on them. And then I'm going to preview results. So there you can see we have our three door springs here. We have our water filter, and then we have one of the rest of those. These are ready to print. You just send them to the printer with your labels in there, and away you go.
Now, let's go back to our Excel file because um, you don't want to have your reports numbers like this all the time. So what you're going to do is that you're going to accept, um, select from the top of the list to the bottom of the list. You're going to go to the Data tab, and you're going to go uh, Remove Duplicates. When you click the Remove Duplicates, it's going to come up with a dialog box. The dialog box is going to say we're looking at both in the part number and the part description, and you say OK. And then it tells you we found five, five duplicates and removed eight, and we have eight unique values remaining. So now you're back to your original parts list. You will be able to print out labels next time that you receive parts. That's how you create stickers for your parts every time you have a shipment. Please subscribe.